let's load up this song in Paradiddle using Steam VR and the HP Reverb G2. I've got to play the drums right now. Let's do this. Steam VR Online, launching custom video settings. For Paradiddle, I will set the super sampling to 100%. This app is not super graphic intensive and you do not need Windows Mixed Reality Reprojection for it. It will run fine at 60 Hz also. You will be able to adjust the settings to maximum graphics inside of the VR app without any issues. All right, Junior, I'm ready. Let's launch Paradiddle and then launch the song. Stand by, launching Paradiddle. All right, so we're inside of Paradiddle. Now, by the way, they did do an update, you know, a few weeks back. So now this means we'll be able to do a lot more things. So I'm very excited about this. And I will show you exactly what those are today. Look at those. Yeah, I know. They look very cool, right? With the little particles, the little trails there. Very nice stuff. And of course, we can see my snare drum. The sound is very cool indeed. All right, let's uh, make some changes and see what's there. All right, so we have our control panel. Just going to move very slightly. So we can basically bring anything in, right? I mean, it's so cool as to the amount of things we can bring in. Because, of course, drums are... Expensive. Expensive, yes, but they also take so much space. So, you know, it's great that you can do this in virtual reality uh, without having to, you know, think so much. I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. And then, you, of course, you can bring an unlimited amount of toms and symbols and all those kind of things. And what's really cool also is you can change the MIDI note to change the actual sound of your instrument. So that's really awesome that you can do that. Right? You can also upload custom sounds. Oh, you can, can you? Uh, let me just see how you do that. Simply go to your options. Go to options, okay. Then select MIDI. Oh, and MIDI's here, so you can change. Oh, you can upload your own sounds and everything. Wow, that's that's pretty awesome that you can do that. You can also choose drum presets. Oh, you can, you can do that as well. How? You get to load drum set. Oh, okay. Ringo Styles drum kit. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. So basically what you can do is you can save your own drum kits, bring your own audio files. Oh, nice. That's really a lot of things that you can do. Um, but if for the graphics, I want to get rid of, you know, these kind of molecules. How do I do that? Go to the graphics tab for it. Okay, got it. So I just turn it off here. Okay. And then now we don't have them. Mm, awesome. So we put the graphics on high, right? Yep. And then we can change also the drumstick calibrations. Well, there's a lot of options that we can do here, right? A lot of different things. Yes. Wow. Okay. And we can reset to default. Okay. That's fantastic. Cool. Haptics. Wow. There's so many different things. So other instruments are also available. Oh. Oh, right, okay, so we can also change not just the drums, we can have different things, different percussion instruments. Yep, that's right. Well, this is a very, very comprehensive uh, percussion app for people who want to learn how to play drums and also percussions, right? Yep. Awesome. So what's new exactly? The songs? Yep, that's right. Okay, so what happens when you play songs? You will be able to play along to the notes of the beat, making it easier to learn how to play. Okay, so we have a new drum kit here. Let me just pause it. Let me just bring this out. Okay, so now we can actually play to the beat. So they tell us where to hit and when to hit. So every time something hits the bar, then we have to follow. So the green, obviously, is the hi-hat. The orange is the cymbals. The red is going to be the snare drum, okay. And then the blue is going to be this tom here. Okay, and then something comes in between to tell me when I'm supposed to hit the bass drum or something else. Cool, awesome. And there is a community on Discord, right? Yes, their community has more than 2,000 members, and it is very active. Cool, so people can basically create their own drum maps using a MIDI box. So they can go to the Discord, as you just mentioned, and meet all the people there. Nice, awesome. I, I will put a link in the description below to anyone who's interested in learning more about this. I'll tell you what we should do right now then. Let's play a song, get used to it, 
And then at the end of the song, I'll give you my final thoughts as to whether it's really worth getting this app. Junior, load the song. Stand by. Loading Black Vulture by Static Rush. I have to admit, Junior, that, uh, you know, for a game that's still in early access and it's only 10 bucks, it's actually really, really good value. And this is 10 bucks Singapore, so for US and Euros, it's probably less. Now, Emery, the actual developer, sent me a tweet and he showed me that you can actually get pedals, which you can connect up to your PC, you know, for the actual bass drum and also the hi-hat, because at the moment, of course, you're using the actual trigger on the HP Reverb G2 controller. Now, the app doesn't, you know, of course, replace real drums. And I think there are a few things here and there that they can work on. For example, it's a little bit too easy to have the control panel to come up. Sometimes, you know, I don't mean to press on the button, but the control panel will just come up. And then also, of course, there's no collider, which means that your drumsticks in the virtual world will go through your actual instruments. So you just have to get used to it. It's not a replacement for the actual real world instruments, of course. But again, really, really not bad. I really think the updates really add more texture to the actual app because now, of course, it's easier and more fun to actually play the drums when you're following the beat to the songs. So that's a pretty good addition. And also, I have to admit that the actual HP Reverb G2 controllers can get pretty heavy, especially with the Mammoth VR grips on them. You know, so you definitely feel the controllers after a while, which, of course, is good for fitness 
as well, you could say. Multiplayer will add a lot more functionality to the app in the future. Yeah, I think that would be absolutely amazing if he enables to have multiplayer because eventually, as you just mentioned, we could have the teacher and also a student, for example, in the same room playing the drums together. Or you could have other various different drummers doing a drum off and, you know, using percussions and other various instruments as well. So that would actually be, I think, to me, the next cherry on the cake for this app, for sure.